favorite beer tubers and welcome back to another episode of Maxwell Stars Beer Review. Tonight we're going to look at a new product from Records. At the time of this recording it's not that new, maybe it's two months old, but it's new in the grand scale of things. We're going to take a look at Rickard's Lederhosen, an Oktoberfest style lager. Get the full flavor of Lederhosen by following these simple steps. Steps. Cool. What the hell? Cool to 7 degrees Celsius. Tilt 45 degrees. Pour into your glass. Finish. And then enjoy. Okay, whatever. Anyway, uh, record seasonal connection. Anyway, this is the replacement of Cardigan. Anybody remembers Cardigan? I reviewed it a couple of years ago when it was re-released for the season last year. Cardigan was a like a seasonal spiced lager. It was similar to a pumpkin beer without the pumpkin, but at least Rickards didn't make any claims of having pumpkin in it. It was just a decent beer, and I actually really like Cardigan. I only ever bought a six pack once, I think of it, but it, I finished the six pack. It was it was all right. This is a replacement to it. A lot of people out there like Cardigan. And they released an Oktoberfest-style Marzen. Uh, Marzen is a kind of malt-forward lager uh, brewed in celebration of the Oktoberfest season, which is kind of like, you know, the uh, around harvest time in Germany where they'd have this festival where uh, they'd bring out a beer that uh, they, they brewed in the spring and, like, uh, have in the summer month, have in the fall months or something like that. And... Uh, when it comes to something like this, this is what uh, Rickard replaced Cardigan with. So it's interesting to try this. And you know what? Uh, if you if you watch the channel, I'm probably one of the few beer tubers out there that actually really likes Marzins. I know that Bobino well, Rhino hates them. I'm pretty sure Lee does as well, El Harlock. Um, so let's give this one a try. One thing that's interesting, it's got the like the German hat. It's, it's got a maple leaf stuck through the brim, but it's kind of like a similar to a fedora but not quite it's that that typical hat that you see like stereotypical german people wearing when they wear lederhosen nothing you really see german people wearing lederhosen much anymore anyway except for maybe in munich at oktoberfest time so let's give this a pour here and to many people this may be the first experience you have with a marzen type beer and I've had a few. Um, I know I've had Polymer Marzen, I've had uh, Pumpus Oktoberfest, and a few other, uh, numerous other ones along the way. I'm, I'm generally a, a big fan of Marzen beers uh, because I like that kind of malt forward taste, that caramel uh, used from the uh, Munich malts. And, you know, generally Munich malts get their name because Munich is the, you know, like the cultural center of Oktoberfest. Uh, that's where they hold host the major big Oktoberfest every year, and uh, the big breweries over there, like Polliner or Hacker Shore, they'll all supply these uh, like um, Oktoberfest beers for the celebration over there, which is this massive event every uh, like late September, early October, right, for harvest season. Anyway, this is the Rickards version. So what I'm getting here is. It's almost white, but there's a slight off-whiteness to it. It's kind of like an eggshell color. Uh, the body of it is kind of a orange amber kind of appearance. It's it's it looks like a marzen. I will give it that. Looks nice. Let's give it a sniff. And from your typical marzen, I would expect at least something from the smell. Not very much, not a strong aroma, but I would expect something of a caramel nature. I'm getting maybe a touch of earthy herbal hops that would be indicative of using some kind of noble hop, but I'm not getting much. In fact, it's it smells very plain, like the the. The colors, the appearance looks appetizing. The smell isn't doing anything for it. Let's give it a taste. Yeah. 
It's earthy, herbal, almost metallic. It does have some caramel malts coming up in the back. But not as much as I would hope. It's almost... I, I wouldn't call it soda watery. But I'm not going to say that it, it really, it's got the caramel malts, it's got the sweetness. It's just, it's, it's plain, it's boring, and it really doesn't have enough to come back up and account for everything. It doesn't have this gentle uh, caramel, delicate caramelness with some fruity esters. It, it really doesn't have much to say other than a little bit of sweetness and some earthy hops. It almost comes off as metallic, and it almost has that. It's maybe like Molson brewed with caramel, like Munich malts. I don't know. Maybe that's coming down a little too harsh, but you know, Rickers is part of Molson. It's boring, um, and not that a lot of people say that you know Marsons are boring anyway, but this one's kind of explicitly boring in comparison. It's just, when I come to see uh, Oktoberfest style beers, like Oktoberfest, I mean, Oktoberfest style lager, maybe that's part of the explanation right there. It's just, it's the fact that Cardigan um, was replaced with this, because Cardigan was a much better than beer than this. Hey, you know what? It's not like this isn't a good beer. It's not like I'm not appreciative of, of uh, Rickard's making Oktoberfest. I just wish that he didn't replace Cardigan with this. Because Cardigan was the better choice. Maybe this would be good as a one-off. As an experiment. But I think maybe you really need to go back to Munich and see how it's done. Because it's not as good as some of the German ones. Oh, man. I've had better. And the thing is with Cardigan, it was a beer that was kind of on its own. It was the Spicy Harvest Ale. It was kind of like this really neat cinnamon, like, all spice nutmeg kind of lager, right? And it was in its own class, whereas this one here is trying to be something, and it's not doing a good enough job of being that something. <laughs> Excuse me. So kudos to those who like it. I'm just, I, I'm, a, I'm a fan of, of Marzen's and I can suggest better ones. Like Pump House's Oktoberfest is a much better one. Or if you can find the original German ones, like Hacker Shore or Polliner for sure. Polliner is excellent. Uh, this, not so much. Anyway, thanks for watching Maxwell Stairs beer reviews of Rickard, Rickard's Lederhosen. Talk to you folks later. Cheers.